Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. If you're interested in changing your water filter, well, I'm here to show you. More on that right after this. Okay, before we get started, I want to cover some differences in water filters. This is your string water filter. As you can see, there's strings wrapped around it. I'm not 100% sure, sure what this one's called, but this is good for three months, and this is good for six months. This is $8.38. This is $14.57. This one's 43% more, but lasts six months, and this lasts three months. They're both 5 micron and they're good for sediment. So if you're wondering why I have two different kinds, during the summer when I'm watering the garden, I have more water passing through the filter. So I'll go through these pretty quick. These, about the same amount of time, about three months, and I have to throw them out and change them. These are only going to last about four months when I'm watering the garden. Don't ask me why, it's just the way it is. So in the winter, I try to switch over to these. It'll last me fall and winter. I have to do it less when I'm working more. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in. I've already drained the water lines to get the pressure off the water filter housing. Okay, I'll have a link to that video up here, how to back flush your water lines. Let's go ahead and get started with changing this filter. Okay, you're going to need a bucket. Now with this water filter housing, you can mount it horizontally like this, or vertically, which would be like this, going across this way. So, I already had the pressure off. Trust me, it's a lot easier if you drain the lines, get all that pressure off your water filter housing. Gonna go ahead, unscrew it. Okay, I got the water filter off. You can see the old one. It was, it was getting pretty bad. Okay, just go ahead and wipe that out a little bit. Now, if you can easily get the O-ring out, you kind of want to do that. If not, you just want to leave it in there. You don't want to go in and gouge, gouge a hole in it. Put that to the side. Wipe it out a little bit more. Now the reason I'm doing this because there's stuff that gets down in there and you want a nice clean seal. Wipe off your O-ring. Take some petroleum jelly. It doesn't have to be name brand. You just want to take a little bit. Keyword being a little bit. Just kind of put it on your fingers, rub it around. Okay. This will help prolong the life of your uh, O-ring. Help you get a little bit of a better seal on it. Place your O-ring. Just gently work it down in. Don't, you don't want to press real hard. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our filter in. Now I can usually get this on the first try. I just stick it in there. But that hole is, there's a little thing that sits right on. Just try to kind of line it up. Because this has that little hole on it too. It'll line up the hole on this. Just kind of get it close. Every now and then it won't line up. You just give it a little bump and it usually lines up for you. So we're gonna, we got it hand tight. Let's get a little bit tighter. Don't get crazy. I mean, once it's tight, it's tight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, turn the water back on. We're going to check for leaks. Okay, I'm not seeing no leaks. 
So I know I got it on right. You can kind of see how that cartridge expanded in there. That's normal. Okay, don't don't get worried about it. That's what it does. It's doing its job. You see a leak? Maybe turn off the water. Try it again. Now maybe you don't have the air ring down right or something, but you, you shouldn't have any leaks. Okay, with that project done, you might find some area lines, you know, we turn on. That's normal. It'll, it will go away. Don't worry about it. Just want to let everybody know, I started a Patreon account. If you want to help support the channel, I have a link down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for watching.